Hey, I'm Josh from the Immersed team, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a walkthrough of using the Immersed app on Visor, the world's lightest 4K per eye headset. We recently took Visor to meet up with some content creators and let them try it for the first time. Now, despite the early firmware, here's what some of them had to say. Holy <laughs> That is Apple Vision Pro quality or better. It kind These displays are sharp, guys. Well, what's funny is we're not using overlays yet, and as soon as you see overlays, it gets real it's sharp. Yeah. yeah. And also, I, I love the, the field of use. I, I expect it to, that it's smaller, but no. it's pretty good. Uh, I can imagine this looks really good with movies, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We received so much valuable feedback from all of you, so thank you for your continued input and support. It keeps us going, and it pushes us to deliver to you the best possible headset. So for the past four years, I've been using bulky headsets for screens and immersed. In more recent years, I've been using the MetaQuest 3, and the Apple Vision Pro. The Apple Vision Pro for sure is unmatched in regards to performance. Uh, the displays are incredible. The high resolution pass through is incredible. The overall user experience is, is fantastic. Um, but after about 15, 20 minutes, it definitely starts to feel pretty heavy. I think the front core unit is about 570 grams. And not to mention the cost of the headset. I mean, you're definitely gonna be spending more than $3,500, even though that's the starting price. All right, next up, we got the MetaQuest 3. And here I bought the Bobo strap. Uh, it's nearly as heavy as the Apple Vision Pro. The front core unit is 460 grams, but the Bobo strap helps to offset that weight. And you could do this. <laughs> but the one thing about this headset is that I wouldn't wear this out in public, and I'm pretty sure most of you wouldn't either. All right, time to put these guys away. All right, next up is Visor. So Visor's front core unit is 186 grams. It's lighter than my iPhone. That's essentially what we were going for. Smaller form factor and lighter weight. And the stems and wire strap in the back help to balance out the weight even more. So when you enter immersed on Visor, your screens will automatically appear based on the computer that you have connected. So as you can see here, I have two screens in front of me. I have a standard 16 by nine screen. I also have an ultra wide screen. And in the back here, I have another screen that's running screen copy, which just allows me to show you what I'm seeing in Visor. So if you want to move a screen, you simply have to look at the top bar, grab it, and you can push it out, bring it closer, and really just position it wherever you want. So right now I'm going to place it over to the side and I'm going to move my ultra wide screen front and center. If I wanna resize a screen, you just look at the corner, grab it, and make it bigger or smaller. Another thing you can't do in reality is curve your already flat screen. But thankfully in Visor, you can do that by just sliding up your curvature setting. Now you have an ultra wide screen that looks like it's surrounding you. Another cool feature that our team has been working on for the new immersed Visor experience is theater mode. That basically allows you to take any screen and turn it into a theater viewing experience. So in order to do that, you just look at your screen settings and click on theater mode. And as you can see, the environment changed from daytime to night to set the mood for watching this movie. I have, you know, a theater screen that has just been pushed back over the lake and I got a nice glow on my environment from the contents of the screen as well as behind the screen. We really love this feature. This is something that we want people to be able to enjoy their favorite movies and be able to experience them in a way that they probably have never experienced it before. And being able to watch this with 4K micro OLEDs is incredible. I mean, it's, it's like you had a giant OLED TV screen in your living room, except now you have one for each of your eyes. You have the crisp colors, the deep blacks, everything is just like perfect for being immersed into a movie. And we've also added the ability to watch 3D movies. Watching 3D movies in a movie theater is nothing compared to watching 3D movies in VR. It really is an immersive experience. That's something that you can't really understand if you've never tried it before. So that's something that we've added to Visor as well. One thing Immerse does really well is helps you eliminate distractions to help you focus on the work that's in front of you. As you can see, I'm in a beautiful lakeside lounge at sunrise. Let's check out some of our other environments. So I'm gonna open the dock and go to, let's go to Nebula. If you want maybe a more calm or tranquil environment, you'd come here. Or you can even enable pass-through. Something else we're really proud of in Immersed is being able to include a high-resolution 
pass through. So you can see the world around you and you can seamlessly blend your virtual objects with your reality. As I mentioned earlier, we are constantly iterating and improving on Visor software. And once it's in your hands, you can only expect your experience to get better and better with each new over the air update. But for now, I just wanted to give you an idea of what working in Visor could look like for you. If you have any more questions, go to immersed.com. And until next time, stay hyper-focused.